All right, um, here is a quick tutorial on how to extract data from SAP ERP. Um, I quickly just created this PowerPoint, uh, so we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, there's really nothing nothing in my slides. Essentially, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys how to, how you would be, what would you need to do to extract data from SAP ERP. Um, the steps are um, kind of similar to, uh, you know, other steps, I guess, are how you would normally uh, move data from one uh, one data source to another. It's very similar to that. Um, now, obviously, we'll be using Business Objects Data Services or Data in Integrator for this uh, demo. Step one, obviously, you need to create a data store um, uh, to SAP ERP or whatever application you're using, SAP application. Uh, obviously, you'd need a you need to create a project. Uh, job, uh, data flow. Within that data flow, this is an uh, important piece. You have to have um, ABAP data flow. Uh, there's some configuration options. Um, I'll walk you guys through that. Um, add a few other transforms, extract the data, and you know, execute the job. And hopefully, you'll enjoy the whole process. So, um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch over to my desktop. All right, so here I have um, SAP uh, Business Objects Data Services Designer. Um, now, what what I've seen on the internet on YouTube is they show you how to do this and kind of make it very complex. I don't think it's that complex. Uh, well, it could be uh, depending on what you're trying to do. But uh, my idea is just to show you guys from beginning to end how to simply go and get, you know, connect to a table or whatever and extract data. Um, so the first thing we have to do is go to the data stores. Um, I already have the data source created, uh, and I'll, for this demo, I'll go ahead and create another one. Uh, we'll call it SAP. We'll call the data store to be SAP. Let's see, ECC. Now, uh, depending on uh, depending on the resolution of this video, uh, you may or may not be able to see the text um, on my screen, but I'll I'll kind of you know, I'll re read everything uh, that's up there. So up top, we have the data store name. Um, I'm just calling it SAP ECC. Data store type is, um, you know, it gives you different options. I will use SAP applications. So that would be our application. And here you would put in the name of the, the application server. Um, so I'll go and do that. Now I'm connecting to a, a demo system, um, you know, a lot of people call it IDES, or I guess that's the name for for the demo. So I'll go ahead and put in the the user ID and the password. Now here are some of the stuff. Um, by default, it says 800. Uh, luckily, the the client number that I have it, it is 800. Um, my system number is also zero zero. Um, so you know that part looks fine. I think this must it must have been pulled from. Um, some of the previous configuration but here let me take a let me show you guys here so so obviously first thing is the name uh, data store type is SAP application you have to have your application server name uh, your username password your client number system ID now uh, one of the most important thing is is the data transfer method uh, is uh, you know there are different different methods you, you have the direct download shared directory FTP uh, and then the custom transfer in this case I'm going to use what's called shared directory um, so in this case, uh, the shared directory would be uh, the directory on the SAP server, which is ECC. Um, the directory I've created is is actually on on the D drive, um, and I've shared it, and it's uh, shared as ABAP or ABAP. Uh, so I'll just use that. The working directory on the server is you know is this directory, um, and application path. Uh, you can put D colon ABAP, uh, I guess, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a fully qual qualified domain name. And then this is where the the third option is the generated ABAP directory. Um, uh, you know, what I did is I just, um, you know, I create the, I use the same thing, same directory, so I can go back and I can delete the, delete the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Uh, I think everything looks fine. So... I'm just going to look at the configuration. Yep, looks good. 
Let's see if this works. All right, so I did apply and seemed to it seemed to like it, so I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna get out of here. So again, our source data is gonna be, or the source data store is gonna be SAP ECC, which is a ECC 6.0, 6.0, um, um, or it's connecting to a SAP ERP 6.0 uh, server. I've also tried this with R3. Um, the steps are basically the same. Uh, all right, so we'll get the data out of here and then we'll put it in a SQL Server data store or, or in a SQL Server database. So I think that part most people already know, so I'm not going to get into it. Uh, there's already one created. Um, it's called SQL underscore data mart. So I'll just use that. So let's go ahead and move over to the projects. Um, I have some projects created here. Um, I'll um, I guess I can use the same one. Um, uh, or you can, I can go back to the class exercise. Or you know what? Let me do this. So I'm going to create a new one. So this one, I'll just call it ECC. Now let's just leave it at ECC. And I create that. And up top in the project area, we have the project created. I'm going to go ahead and create a new job. Uh, the job would be, let's call it demo. All right. Now, the first thing we need, obviously, is the data flow. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on the data flow. Let's bring it down to the canvas or your designer area, and then uh, we'll name it data flow df underscore demo. Uh, since we're demoing it, um, I believe I don't have any anything else created by that name previously, so I think we're good. All right, so go ahead and open that. Now this is where you're going to need the main thing. Uh, you need the ABAP data flow. So if, and we'll go ahead and select here. From the toolbar, select, click on it, bring it down. It'll ask you for the data store. Uh, I do have other data stores created, but I'll use the one that we just created, which is SAP ECC. Uh, next thing, it, it'll, it'll ask you for the generated file name, and I'll call it demo.aba. Uh, the program name is the program that's going to be created on the server. We'll just call it Z, uh, you know, Z as in cust anything that you create there has to have a Z prefix or that's the best practice. So we'll just use Z, D, E, M, O. Uh, what am I doing? D, M, O. Okay. The job name, we'll call it X transfer X, F, E, R underscore Z demo. So in case I have to go back or... If there's an issue on the server, I have to kill the job. I know what, what it's called. Um, I think everything else is good. So go ahead and do, actually, let's change the name also. We'll change the name of the data flow or ABAP data flow to ADF underscore DEMO or for demo. Click OK. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this is where we're going to create, um, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> So we'll go to the data store that we just created, um, which is SAP underscore ECC. And let's pull a table that everybody you know uses in a, in a demo. Um, the most important one or most common one is Mara. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in, M-A-R-A. -A. Click OK. All right, so we have that. We have the table um, imported. So here on the uh, in the ABAP data flow, we'll simply grab the table, drop it down, and it'll, automatic, it'll be automatically uh, uh, selected as a source. Uh, and we're going to grab a query transform and drop it here. And let's just select some some fields here. So I'm going to select uh, Matner. Uh, which is a part number and then uh, let's see just grab a couple other ones date and this and I'll drop the key just for the demo purpose I don't want to see any errors or anything so let's get out of here now we do need this uh, uh, data tra transport option so we have to grab that um, so if you look at the data transport option the file name, you know, if you want, you can specify the file name. Um, so I'll just call it demo mara.dat. If you don't specify, it'll just auto auto create one for you. So we'll just do that. So right now we got everything here. I'll save the the project. 
Now, so, so far, all we have done is we have created the, the data flow. Let's get back, or the ABAP data flow. Let's go back to the original data flow that we have, um, which is DF demo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a, within that, I'm going to create a query transform. So our ABAP data flow is going to be treated as a source. And we'll just grab all those fields that we are pulling from the server. And here we'll do a template table. So let's call it the demo. And I'm going to create it on SQL Data Mart. All right, so that part is pretty simple. We click, connect it, save everything, go back to our job, and do execute. And I like to check this enabled recovery button. And let's do OK. And hopefully this is going to go OK and it'll get through fine. Oh, yeah, it, it did. So let's go back here. You know, I apologize. Sometimes I move my mouse really fast. I know it feels normal when I do it, but I'm sure it's pretty annoying. But anyway, um, here's a table that we just pulled. So we went ahead and we pulled data using Dataflow and here it is. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if uh, you have any questions or comments. Thank you.